Life Philosophies Unleashed. Welcome to a journey of self discovery and inner peace. In the hustle and bustle of life, we often encounter difficult people who challenge our tranquility. Drawing wisdom from the teachings of Buddha, we explore five profound ways to navigate through the storms of negativity and foster a serene mind. Join us on this inspiring quest to find harmony in the face of adversity. 1. Acknowledge there are difficult people around you. In the vast tapestry of life, we encounter a myriad of relationships, some uplifting and others challenging. Buddha's teachings shade light on the impermanence of existence, urging us to acknowledge the transient nature of relationships, especially those tainted by negativity. According to Buddha, an insincere and evil friend is more to be feared than a wild beast. This profound insight underscores the impact of toxic individuals on our well-being. Life, as Buddhism teaches, is characterized by three main aspects. Anic, impermanence, anat, absence of a permanent self, and dukkha, suffering or dissatisfaction. Recognizing the impermanence of relationships, Buddha guides us to accept the transient nature of connections, including those with negative individuals. The inevitability of change encourages us to view challenging people as temporary threads in the fabric of our lives. Buddha categorizes negative people into various types, each posing unique challenges to personal well-being. There are those who engage in harmful speech, spreading negativity through gossip, criticism, or deceit. Others may exhibit behaviors driven by jealousy, envy, or resentment, leading to toxic and draining interactions. Additionally, Individuals who constantly focus on material pursuits or self-centered desires without regard for others can also contribute to a negative environment. Instead of resisting or reacting negatively to toxic individuals, Buddhism suggests accepting the reality to maintain inner calm. Buddha teaches us that relationships, like life itself, are impermanent. Acceptance doesn't imply agreement or tolerance of negativity. Rather, it involves realizing that tough times with difficult people are temporary. By not letting toxic individuals affect our inner peace, we maintain balance and learn to see them as transient aspects of our journey. In essence, Buddha's teachings help us understand that acceptance doesn't equate to surrender, but empowers us to navigate the ebb and flow of relationships with resilience and equanimity. By acknowledging the impermanence of connections, we cultivate a mindset that fosters peace amidst life's inevitable fluctuations. 2. Practice restraint. A disciplined mind brings happiness, declares Buddha, emphasizing the importance of self-discipline in navigating the challenges presented by difficult people. The art of practicing restraint is a transformative tool, allowing individuals to shield themselves from negativity while promoting inner harmony the story of Buddha encountering an angry man serves as a compelling illustration of practicing restraint. When confronted with insults and anger, Buddha listened patiently without accepting the negativity. His response, a metaphorical refusal to accept the unwanted gift of anger, exemplifies the power of not engaging with negativity. By refraining from impulsive reactions, Buddha demonstrated the strength that lies in self-control. In the face of insults or criticism, our instinctive response is often a strong urge to defend ourselves. However, Buddha's teachings encourage us to resist this urge, as engaging with negativity only perpetuates the cycle. Accepting insults or criticism drains our energy and compromises our inner peace. Moreover, attempting to change someone's mind in heated moments is often futile. Practicing restraint involves active listening, patience, and not allowing negativity to infiltrate our thoughts and emotions. When confronted with difficult people, our ability to remain calm and composed becomes a powerful shield against their negativity. By resisting the temptation to react impulsively, we conserve our energy and maintain a balanced emotional state. It's crucial to recognize that practicing restraint is not a sign of weakness, 
but a demonstration of inner strength. It requires patience, kindness, and understanding. In the face of negativity, maintaining composure and not accepting the unwanted gift of anger can have a transformative impact on both ourselves and the difficult individuals we encounter. In conclusion, practicing restraint is a valuable skill that empowers us to navigate challenging interactions with grace and resilience. By not accepting and engaging with negativity, we not only shield ourselves from its effects, but also contribute to a more positive and constructive environment. 3. Practice clearing your mind. In a man's own mind, not his enemy or foe, lures him to evil ways, proclaims Buddha, highlighting the profound influence of our thoughts on our actions. Clearing the mind, an essential practice in Buddhism, becomes a potent tool in dealing with difficult people and their negativity. The practice of clearing the mind involves mindfulness with a specific focus on meditation techniques such as shamatha. According to Buddha, this style of meditation aims to develop clarity and calmness in the mind, ultimately leading to inner peace. Shamatha involves sitting comfortably, observing the breath without changing it, and practicing touch and go on thoughts acknowledging their existence without engaging with them. The process of clearing the mind during meditation allows individuals to detach from the immediate emotional response triggered by difficult people. By acknowledging thoughts without becoming entangled in them, practitioners create a space for clarity and calmness. This mental clarity becomes a valuable asset when evaluating challenging situations and responding with composure. Shamatha meditation, with its focus on acknowledging thoughts, without forming opinions or engaging with them, serves as a powerful practice for controlling anger and negative emotions. In the midst of an argument or confrontation with difficult people, this technique enables individuals to maintain a sense of calm and clarity. By letting go of anger, frustration, or annoyance during meditation, one can approach the situation with a clear mind when ready to engage. Moreover, the meditative practice of shamatha fosters a sense of endurance and resilience. By recognizing that thoughts are fleeting and impermanent, individuals learn to withstand the tests of endurance presented by difficult people. This resilience becomes a source of strength, allowing for a more measured and thoughtful response to challenging interactions. In conclusion, the practice of clearing the mind through meditation, specifically shamatha, equips individuals with the tools needed to navigate the turbulence of difficult relationships. By embracing mental clarity and resilience, practitioners can respond to negativity with composure and understanding, fostering a sense of inner peace. 4. Practice compassion. Forgive others not because they deserve forgiveness, but because you deserve peace, implores Buddha emphasizing the transformative power of compassion in dealing with difficult people. Compassion, a core tenet of Buddhism, encourages individuals to understand the root causes of negativity and respond with patience and empathy. Difficult people, whether they be co-workers, family members, or friends, can have a profound impact on our emotional well-being. Buddha's teachings on compassion guide us to navigate these challenging relationships with a mindset of understanding and forgiveness. Instead of reacting with negativity, individuals are encouraged to respond with patience, empathy, and, when necessary, forgiveness. Empathy, as Buddha teaches, doesn't require agreement with the perspectives of difficult individuals. Rather, it involves taking the time and energy to understand their motivations and the factors contributing to their negativity by delving into the reasons behind their behavior, individuals can cultivate a sense of empathy that goes beyond surface-level disagreements. In the face of negativity, responding with compassion doesn't mean accepting or tolerating toxic behavior. It involves showing patience and understanding, recognizing that the source of someone's negativity may stem from personal struggles or challenges. By responding with kindness instead of negativity, individuals can potentially disrupt the cycle of destructive interactions 
and create an opportunity for positive change. Compassion becomes especially crucial in relationships with those close to us, such as family members or co-workers. Often, individuals may not even realize the negativity they project. In such cases, responding with understanding rather than avoidance or aggression can be a transformative approach. By acknowledging their struggles and responding with empathy, individuals not only shield themselves from negativity, but also contribute to a more positive and harmonious environment. Moreover, forgiveness, as advocated by Buddha, serves as a powerful tool for personal growth. Forgiving others not because their actions are justified, but as a means of releasing resentment and finding peace within oneself is a profound practice. By letting go of grudges and resentments, individuals free themselves from the emotional burden of difficult relationships, fostering a sense of inner tranquility. In conclusion, practicing compassion in the face of difficult people is a transformative approach guided by Buddhist teachings. By responding with patience, empathy, and forgiveness, individuals not only shield themselves from negativity, but also contribute to a more positive and harmonious environment. Compassion becomes a beacon of light in navigating the complexities of challenging relationships, offering a path to inner peace. 5. Practice right speech. Better than a thousand hollow words is one word that brings peace, advises Buddha, highlighting the significance of right speech in fostering positive interactions. Right speech, a key aspect of Buddhist ethics, emphasizes the intention behind words and their potential impact on individual and communal well-being. In the realm of difficult relationships, practicing right speech becomes a crucial tool for maintaining inner calm and promoting harmony. The guidelines for right speech, as outlined by Buddha, include refraining from lying, avoiding slander, speaking gently, and minimizing idle chatter. By adhering to these principles, individuals can ensure that their words contribute positively to their own well-being and that of others. Lying, as Buddha teaches, is a harmful habit that often stems from negative motivations such as greed or laziness. By refraining from falsehoods, individuals cultivate honesty and integrity, contributing to the establishment of a positive and trustworthy communication environment. Lying tends to perpetuate itself, and by avoiding this habit, individuals prevent the escalation of negative behaviors. Slander, another aspect of right speech, involves speaking negatively about others behind their backs. Engaging in slander may provide temporary relief, but ultimately contributes to a negative atmosphere. By refraining from speaking ill of others, individuals promote friendship and harmony creating an environment that fosters positive interactions. Speaking gently, as advocated by Buddha, involves avoiding harsh words that cause pain or shock to the recipient. Harsh words may provide a momentary emotional release, but they rarely contribute to constructive communication. By choosing gentler language, individuals ensure that their speech has a profound point beyond mere emotional reactions. This practice becomes especially crucial when dealing with difficult people, as responding with gentleness, rather than aggression, can break the cycle of negativity. Idle chatter, according to Buddhism, refers to pointless talk without any purpose or depth. Engaging in mindless conversation may lead to utterances that are not well thought out and can cause unnecessary harm. By minimizing idle chatter, individuals ensure that their words have a positive outcome in mind. This practice encourages thoughtful communication that contributes to the well-being of oneself and others. The application of right speech forces individuals to take a moment to think before speaking, fostering patience, restraint, mindfulness, and empathy. The intention behind words becomes a focal point guiding individuals to communicate with purpose and positivity. When faced with difficult people, the practice of right speech equips individuals with the tools needed to respond thoughtfully, maintaining inner calm and promoting constructive interactions. In conclusion, 
The practice of right speech is a transformative tool in dealing with difficult people. By adhering to the principles of honesty, avoiding slander, speaking gently, and minimizing idle chatter, individuals contribute to a positive communication environment. Right speech becomes a beacon of mindfulness, guiding individuals to navigate challenging relationships with grace and compassion, fostering a sense of inner peace. In the tapestry of life, difficult people are but fleeting threads. Drawing inspiration from the teachings of Buddha, we find solace in acknowledging impermanence, practicing restraint, clearing our minds, embracing compassion, and using right speech. These timeless principles guide us towards a harmonious existence, helping us navigate the challenges with grace and tranquility. May these Buddhist ways of dealing with difficult people be a source of inspiration on your journey to inner peace. Remember, the path to tranquility begins within. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening exploration.